This video is titled, Holy Spirit, Head to Toe. When we're saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit moves into our heart, cleans it out with a broom, sets up shop. As we progress in our walk with the Lord, we want to be baptized. We want to make sure we're always reading the Bible and praying, make sure we find a church. I know it's really hard nowadays, man. I, I, I have a good church that I go to, but it's not a great one. I can't find a church that preaches the Bible the way it's supposed to be preached. And that's one reason why I have this channel. Because I want to preach the Bible the way it's written. 100% uncut biblical truth. No punches being pulled. No changes. No adjustments. Nothing. Just straight the way God wrote it and the way he intended, intended it to be spoken by everyone. But it's hard. But try to find a good church to go to. Tithe. You know, tithe somewhere where you're sowing into the kingdom of God. And, and you'll start having fruit of the Spirit show through in your life and you'll start having the beatitude show and the most important thing that i have seen two there's two very very two most important aspects of my life that the lord has done that i see as keys to being to being totally empowered by the lord jesus christ is one of having the gift of faith i prayed for and received the gift of faith that has made a 180 in my christian walk i have now pure biblical mustard seed faith nothing that, that i've done I'm just a slave, a foot slave to Jesus. I'm the, the, the least in his kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge pond. But the Holy Spirit runs powerful in me. And that's part two, being sanctified head to toe by the Holy Spirit. Praying for sanctification where your whole body, your whole being is cleaned out totally and you're 100% on fire for Jesus Christ. When you become sanctified by the Holy Spirit and he totally gets you on the exact same page right in the center of his will, Holy Spirit vision, doo -doo 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 -doo, locks in every time. That's where it's at, my friends. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit down to the cellular level, inside the cell membranes, down to the mitochondria, part of your DNA. The Holy Spirit just just flows through your veins and, and, and his power just just comes through you and just, and, just, and just roars out like a lion. And what's really cool is when you marry that with the gift of faith, with mustard seed faith, oh man, you're talking about power. It's nothing through us. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. We're just willing vessels. But man, when you get that power combo working, when you speak with your mouth the word of God, you have the same authority in your words as Jesus Christ does. The Bible says it, and I'm telling you for a fact it's true. And I'm telling you for a fact too that anything that you ask for in the Lord's will, he's going to answer. The mountains are going to be moved. If you actually need a physical mountain moved, if it's in your way and you need that mountain moved, God will move that mountain. God has just performed so many miracles through through the Holy Spirit empowering me. I can't even remember them all. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I can't remember everything that he's done. And I, and I can try hard and I can make a long list, but he does it all the time. He's constantly, every day, he's performing a miracle. I get hundreds of prayer requests on nine different ministries. And he is just, Wow. He answers these prayers, man. It's just incredible. When I pray, I pray believing. I don't have any doubt at all. I pray believing in my heart 100%, and I speak that belief out loud with my mouth 100%, and I know he'll answer my prayers because he always does. But that's the key, is having the Holy Spirit filling you head to toe and pray for that gift of faith, one of the gifts of the Spirit. Man, I'm telling you, it is just awesome. It, it, it's beyond awesome. It, it's beyond incredible. It's Wow, it, it's just... It blows me away. It blows my mind what God does. A simple creature like me, a slave like me, that he would bless so much and love so much to let me have the power in my words when I speak the word of God, the power of Jesus Christ, the power of prayer that actually moves the hand of God. Do you realize that, my friends? When we have this combo, we possess within our body the Holy Spirit, Part of the triune, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The most powerful force in the universe that humans can do through prayer. We can move the hand of God. We can move the very hand of God. We can pray to Him. And God can have our prayers coming up with incense. Mingle with incense coming right up, wafting up to His very throne room. And God can say, I'm going to answer that prayer. And He does it over and over and over again. It's awesome. I never even... The old days, you know, when I was just saved and then I was backslidden for a long time, I was like so many Christians nowadays that, you know, teach 
you know, once saved, always saved, cheap grace, prosperity doctrine. I believed that I was the man. I only prayed for myself. I prayed for God to give me everything. Give me, give me, give me, give me, God. I never prayed for anybody else. Now, I've learned to switch it around on a 180. I don't pray for myself now. I pray for every single person that needs prayer. In the very end, I just ask God that if he gives me another day, I'll work as hard as I can for him that day. And I thank him for make, helping make it through this day. And I just ask him, if he gives me tomorrow, I'll work as hard for you as I can then. And that's, that's my prayer for myself. God knows what I need. God's got my back. He's got your back. What he wants to see is see what we're going to do for others. That we love others like we love ourselves. Okay? Or even more than we love ourselves. We need to start getting serious. We need to start getting real. We need to start getting real serious for the Lord. So start praying. After you've been saved, get baptized by water. Do all the things that I said. Read the Bible. Pray. Find a church. Tithe. Find somewhere to volunteer if you can. And then pray to be sanctified. To be filled with the Holy Spirit. And your life's going to be getting working towards sanctification as you do the above things that I said. Or pray for the Holy Spirit to fill you at the cellular level. And then pray for the gift of faith. <laughs> Watch God move. Watch God work in ways that it'll just it'll just blow your mind. You only you'll just get wow. You just you sit back in awe and watch the master work because we're nothing. All we are is just a willing vessel. Sit back and watch the master work and just be dumbfounded. Just be in awe. Just be man. This is just so mighty. It's incredible. God is just awesome. He's the first and last, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's Godhood, the epitome of goodness. He's the Creator. The Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, the creator of the heavens and the universe, everything. He's, he's all, he always was, he, all, he is, and he always will be. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just start getting there, my friends. Let's get sanctified. Let's get the gift of faith, and let's just start let, watching God work through us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I love you so much, and I'm so unworthy for the blessings you bestow on me. I'm your slave. You're so good to me. And you're so good to all of us. And, and you're good as your word. You will always give us what we ask as long as it's within your holy will and we believe. And you want us to be fully sanctified head to toe. You want us to have the gift of faith. You want us to be used to have that mustard seed faith. Could, could, I, I can't imagine how this world would be if all Christians had mustard seed faith, were filled with the Holy Spirit head to toe, saw through Holy Spirit vision, threw away the hell goggles. It would be just, oh man, it would be, it would be paradise. It would be a utopia that just beyond imagination. I just love you so much, Lord. And I just pray that you would convict our hearts. That you would just give us a hunger for more of you. A thirst for more of you that just can't be, can't be satiated. It can't be filled. It can't be quenched without as much of you as we could possibly take. I love you so much, Jesus. I love you so much, God. I love you so much, Holy Spirit. The three in one, the triune. You're all together. You're separate entities. And I love you so much. Make us strong. Keep us focused. Get us out reaping the harvest, sharing the good news of Jesus Christ in what little time is left before your imminent return. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. As always, my friends, if you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned and I've done bad things in my life and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe that you died on the cross and were risen again. And I believe on the third day you went back up to the right hand side of the Father to prepare a place in heaven forever for all Christians. Please forgive me of my sins. Please come live in my heart. Clean my heart out. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. And my friends, if you pray this prayer, Jesus will save you. He says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. It's in the Bible. If you'd like me to pray with you, send me an inbox, a private message. You can call me. I do it on Facebook. I do it here. I'd love to pray with you. If you have a friend, neighbor, loved one, co-worker, anyone who don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, if you're sick, you have a sick friend, neighbor, loved one, co-worker, if you have a sick pet, if you need a job, car, home, food, clothes, water, whatever your need are, needs are, I'd love to pray with you. I'll pray with, for you every day until you tell me your miracles happen in your lives. Thanks for watching this video, but please share it with everyone you can, friends, neighbors, co-workers, loved ones, strangers, drop it in a blog somewhere. Drop it in an article somewhere. Just drop the link to this channel, to a certain video, and just plant the seed, walk away. Let God water it. Let it germinate and grow through the power of God. Never through anything that I do or we do, I give all praise, honor, and glory 
to my Heavenly Father. The Holy Spirit runs the show in all my ministries. He gives me every title, every word that I speak, every word that I write is from Him. All praise, honor, and glory to the Master. People need to be saved. They need to have, they need to be repenting of sins and iniquities. They need to have miracles happen in their lives. They need to be motivated, get off the sidelines and reap the harvest while there's still time. They have to hear the word of God to do this. Let's share it. I love you guys very much. I pray for you all the time. May God bless you. Thank you.